Warm spring greetings from the sunny Riviera to all of my eco-conscientious friends around the world. I'm Alex Dolly, sales manager of Ecocentro Solar, the Yucatan Peninsula's only platinum Enphase installer. Para los que no hablan inglés, hay subtítulos disponibles, somos 100% bilingües, but I'm going to be speaking English for this video. What we got was a lot of requests for what a blackout looks like in the Enphase Enlightened Monitoring app if for clients that have Ensemble or clients that are considering Ensemble. So what I wanted to do today was walk you through a case study of a blackout of a client of mine that has equipment in Aldea Zamat Tulum. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with what the infrastructure in Tulum is like, it's absolutely horrible. There are blackouts all the time. This client had three, you know, three weeks, she had eight different blackouts. So we're going to be showing you some of those, but today in particular, we're going to be examining one blackout. This client has a rental property in Aldea Zama. For them, it is mission critical that they don't get bad reviews. And when you have a blackout for 10 hours and the clients can't flush the toilets and they can't take showers after the beach and the internet doesn't work, well, that's bound to get bad reviews. So if they had a couple of those instances where they had blackouts, they said enough was enough. We're getting battery backup with our solar and they opted to go with Enphase Ensemble backup with two batteries. So this is a relatively small installation. So it's a great case study on what you can do with mission critical loads with a partial home backup with a sub panel of critical loads versus a whole home backup. For the moment, let's get into this one. Um, as we can see here on the second, she sent me a message. Uh, sorry to bother you guys so late, but is there any way to check there's something wrong with the application with the, the batteries? So this is something that was mission critical for this client of mine to be able to have the water running and while she was at it, some lights and some fans and some internet. So she messages at 1045, um, what's going on? The lights and the fans were working, but the air conditioner went off. Now this is a great example of how the owner of Ecocentro, Roger Sherman, will always say, you don't need to know how to reconstruct an engine to know how to drive a car. Uh, we had explained several times what a sub-panel for cargas criticas or, or your critical loads panel uh, is necessary for, and that is to separate the mission critical devices from the not so mission critical devices that have high demand, such as air conditioning. So that's what she says here. She says that we have the lights and the fans are working and the water was running, but we had no more ACs. And that's why I said, well, it actually sounds like the product worked perfectly. Um, because went to your critical loads panel and there we split off the charges and it was able to support the fans and the lights for the duration of the blackout, okay? okay? But let's take a closer look at this particular blackout on February 6, 2022. If I scroll my mouse over at the beginning of this, you can see the blackout grid state changed to off around 6.50 a.m., okay? Given that there was no sunlight at this hour, it immediately starts to go to battery backup. Um, you can see this is as far discharged as the batteries get, and that is 845 at 83%, okay? Uh, this is a unique functionality of the Enphase system. So if we were to take, uh, consider the power wall, it can not both be charging the batteries and providing power to the house at the same time. The Enphase solution is unique in that sense in that I can start recharging the batteries and provide the power to my house that I need during the daylight sunlight hours so that my batteries aren't spending themselves up. They're actually maintaining mostly a full charge. It's at 98, 98, 98 to the end of the blackout. It gets charged full up, back on, and then we're back to normal consumption again. Okay, so with this client, we saw that she had eight blackouts within a three week time period all of them within daylight hours. So a great alternate plan B for this client would be IQ8s with the home smart switch if the batteries weren't in the budget and we could add the batteries later, okay? Uh, that's gonna be all for today, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to reach out directly. My name is Alex Dolly, sales manager of Ecocentro. My phone number is 984-593. 1323 or you can email, email me at alex at echocentro.mx. All this will appear below. All right.